I'm Robert Neal Marshall, and welcome to the first installment of my video blog, Providence of the Heart, which is based on my written blog, ProvidenceoftheHeart.com. Basically, it's a story of my life and how my life has changed since I had a massive heart attack and literally left the planet for a short time and came back and uh, my experiences and so forth and inspiration since that time. So if this blog series gives you any insights, any hope, faith, inspiration yourself, I welcome you and thanks for watching. Basically, I died on Saturday morning, August 3rd, 2013, and I lived to talk about it. And so people say, big deal, Bob, people have heart attacks all the time. And I've read lots of stories about people who have come to the very edge of existence and then due to some miracle of luck, they get to come back, but they've been really, really changed by the experience. And I don't really mean to be morbid with this, but most people are fascinated by death and they've heard of NDEs or near-death experiences. And when I was 17, I wrote this personal story, a fictional story, where in the story I died and went through that experience. And back in 1977, people just weren't talking about NDEs. And I was really, really stunned when this deeply personal and really bizarre experience of this fictional death of mine um, that I wrote about was documented and sometimes spoken verbatim in this book by an author, Dr. Raymond Moody, uh, called Life After Life. What it is, it's a collection of um, these stories, uh, this controversial subject of people who had died or went through near-death experiences, were brought back through resuscitation, and it documents their memories and their experiences, and it made me even more curious. Because at the age of 17, I had never died, and I wondered how could so much of what I wrote about in this fictional story be so familiar to what real people actually recounted after having been clinically dead. Well, I mean, you can imagine it really blew my mind and I began to wonder very seriously if there was something to this, if there was a deep soul memory that I had of something that really had actually happened to me from another time. And even if it's a frightening thought, I know that many of us have no doubt wondered, well, what's it like to die? What happens when we die? And on the news we see planes being vaporized into buildings and we see scenes of explosions and bodies marched into gas chambers and old newsreels and tsunamis wiping out thousands of people on beaches. We see it all the time, even just people having heart attacks. And even though some of you may not admit it out loud, um, you must have contemplated that thought of what it's like to go through the dying experience. It's the ultimate question, and we know we're all going to deal with it at one point or other. You know, as they say, death and taxes. But I get it. For, for some of you, this is probably a paralyzing fear to talk about this, a taboo. But for others, there is a curiosity that may be part of a spiritual journey. But no matter how you look at it, until you've had your own personal experience, these curiosities are really no more than, than a cross between a fiction and something that just happens to someone else. And I never fathomed that my having a heart attack, a massive heart attack, the Widowmaker, VFib as it's called, that my own curiosity would give me this stunning personal insight into this realm and as a result, absolutely everything, my entire universe, would never be the same again. 